Hi Capricorn, welcome to Eight of Cups Tarot. Welcome to your cards for July. I am so excited about this month. The more readings I do, the more potential that I see in everybody, the potential for growth, and it's really tremendous. I'm, I'm absolutely loving these readings and this energy for this month. Now that's not to say this month is gonna be easy, okay? We have all of our personal planets making so many moves. Mars and Venus is moving so quickly. Mercury is coming out of shadow, telling new stories, making new, meeting new ground, and um, they're all making squares and, and aspects to the outer planets, which is super cool because that's where we actually start to gain some traction. Like we start to actually make the changes in July and you're going to be absolutely amazed at how fast this energy can move and how many changes you can make at one time. It's super, super productive. Now, it kind of makes up for that whole like all of 2020 and the first half of 2021. We were like, we know we want something different, but it's just not quite here yet. And July comes and it's here. Now, it may not be ready to go. It may not be like on the table, full blast, go. But we know what we want. There's clarity, there's traction, there's the possibilities, and this is an amazing time for manifesting. Remember, you planted seeds already. You planted seeds, and now the universe is like, okay, you said you wanted it. Here it is right in front of you. And there's all of a sudden all of these opportunities. And so there's things that need to be adjusted in order for us to do those possibilities that are in front of us, right? You know, I think a lot of us um, get stuck like in the whole, is this too good to be true? Is this safe? That kind of thinking. We're like, oh my God, I, I don't even know, you know, I don't even know if it's okay. Like we're so shocked because I think the energies have been so dense lately that we're kind of like stuck in this place of expecting that life is always going to be hard. And yeah, we have to go through some stuff. We don't have to take it so personally. There's definitely a certain amount of healing, which means we probably have to do a little bit of the you know, looking at our shadow self this month. I don't see it being all that horribly painful, but I do think that as these aspects occur, we're going to have to do kind of an inner inventory. Like, is this the, am I, where are our reactions coming from? Are they coming from the old version of us or the new version of us? And it's kind of the universe making sure that you're ready, like full steam ahead. August gets crazy. The rest of 2021, winter is absolutely insane. And 2022, 2023, 2024, like all these years are really big, fast moving years. So the seeds that we're planting now are super important. They're long term things and they're the things that we need. They're the places we have to be in to prepare us for this next phase of our lives. Really important stuff. So what I love is that Cancer and Leo season really exasperates the heart, right? Like when we're in Cancer season, we can love like we've never loved before. And this is your seventh house. So there's definitely gonna be an emphasis on relationships for you, Capricorn, personal relationships and what you want from them. Um, if, it's, if you're not here for love or relationships, seventh house can also rule business partnerships um, and that kind of thing, contracts that you might be in. So uh, absolutely an emphasis on what you truly want now. Because as you change, the things that you want change. As you change, the things that you attract are different. And so there's always like this adjustment period as well. Now, looking at these cards, I'm going to do things a little bit differently because I want to explain these nine card block before I even get into your energy this month. So I'm going to put it up here so you guys could see the nine card block and take a look at it as we move along. I was so struck by this first line. We have this ace of pentacles in reverse, the knight of wands, and the five of cups. I think this is a little bit of learning from your past. 
And when we have all of these outer planets retrograde, there's no doubt, especially Saturn retrograde, Jupiter retrograde, and by the end of the month, he moves back into Aquarius in your second house. There's a big emphasis between your relationship with others and it is a reflection of your relationship with self. These are the adjustments that need to be made this month. Now I'm looking at this Ace of Pentacles in reverse and this Knight of Wands and the only thing I could say is sometimes we have a habit of wanting the things that aren't meant for us, right? Wanting and desiring the things that were not meant to be in our lives. You've probably heard me say a million times over and over again, rejection is God's protection, right? When things don't work out, it's simply because there's something better out there. There's something more out there that we're meant to do with our energy and our time. There's other people we're meant to be in contracts with. And it is very likely because you've been hosting Pluto for about 10 years now that we've gotten into these patterns of the, the things that are rejected, right? Ace of Pentacles in reverse kind of represents missed opportunities or no's, like somebody doesn't make that offer, somebody isn't interested. And because Pluto's there and because you've been doing this little dance with Pluto for so long, you could start to form these habits with when somebody says no, you tend to want it even worse. Now this is where the ego gets triggered and this is where things get interesting because in this first row, you're this knight of wands and there's like this fiery kind of personality of like no i'm going to change their mind no this has got to be mine i have to have this i have to have this and because he's there next to the five of cups there's probably an awakening or a realization that this type of self-sabotaging behavior chasing after the things that aren't meant for you has brought you a lot of sorrow in your life now, sometimes I look at an Ace of Pentacles and I see a lack of the ability to commit. And maybe this isn't you. Maybe these are people you've been attracting in your life. Maybe you've been attracting people that are incapable of commitment or incapable of, you know, making plans, making sacrifices, building with you. And there's probably something about that, um, that no that brings up a sense of unworthiness in us. The unworthiness is the stuff that has to get worked out. Listen, if somebody doesn't, and, and you probably already know this right now, I, you've probably been experiencing this for quite some time, but when somebody doesn't wanna go down the same path as you, when somebody um, chooses to leave or walk away from a certain plan that you had together, it's not a good idea to take it personal because that's where we get triggered and we get all human and we start to like not trust in the universe and we're like oh my god but i thought that this was like set in stone i thought this was a thing and instantly our ego makes us try to get control right how do we remain in control when everything's falling apart you know if you're in relationships and suddenly somebody wants to go in a different direction and it's like my God, well, who, I, who am I without you? What are we going to do? Like, we have mutual friends. We live together. There's moving arrangements. Like, everything spins out of control. And that's hard for an earth sign especially because we like slow, methodical changes, right? We like a plan. We like a to-do list. We like to be prepared. And this Knight of Wands with this Ace of Pentacles is like, no, I can make it right. I can make it work. You know, if somebody isn't right for you, yet there's like that little ounce of potential, you're like, no, I could change it, I can make it better. You know, that's, that's typically a Virgo kind of energy. Um, but I'm looking at this Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Five of Cups, and there's like definitely a realization that this type of behavior isn't serving you. And that's why I'm getting back to your current energy, which is that of the Knight of Wands. And that's mastering this entire process right here in the first three cards. 
because you're overcoming that knight of wands you're getting more mature the king of wands isn't going to chase anybody he's not going to chase anything that isn't meant for him he's not going to make things work out when they're not working out he just simply moves on to the next thing you know he's not stressed he's not worried he's not trying to control the situation the king of wands is like great because that means that i have a clear canvas to create something brand new and your environment is that of the star card and to me especially because we have this queen of cups here in the center of the reading these two energies together is a radical self-acceptance and I feel like Capricorn is doing a little bit of the e exiting the ego stage and getting back into heart place and I love that I love that for cancer Leo season it's so important guys to understand where we're at here because you have Saturn in your second house and I've said it in all of your readings recently there's a need for integrity and integrity isn't just to other people like integrity is to yourself Saturn's retrograde so you're probably really not going to get away with accepting things that are less than you deserve and so the universe is like not letting it work out and suddenly you're starting to get the big picture like okay well then I'm not going to force it and that's what I'm saying. I don't think that any Capricorn should be forcing any situations this month. I think it's really important that you do a little bit of healing in the form of your self-worth, right? Jupiter moving back into your second house will definitely show you um, ways in which we've given up our power, which is really big with that Pluto ending his... Well, I mean, he's got a couple more years with you guys. He has a couple more years, but he's so slow moving and you're at the end of the process. So these are like the big lessons in how to take back your power. And because this Knight of Wands or this King of Wands is here, it means that you're reaching that culmination this month. And the star card is here. And this is my favorite star card because it's like the ability to get back to a hopeful place. The ability to reach this healing place which I think you will now getting into the second um, row here we have the magician the Queen of Cups and the eight of Pentacles in reverse so we have this ace of Pentacles and then we have the magician and this is where you get the energy to recreate right something's leaving your life something's exiting a plan isn't working out there's a new one you're manifesting it and the magician is like a much healthier sense of control right it's not like the devil control it's not where we're letting our fears control us the magician is literally creating their own environment this is virgo energy as well and there's a lot of earthiness within this reading like there's a ton 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 of pentacles so for a lot of you this is probably maybe going to play out financially um in a workplace with with a business partner but otherwise it's, it's really talking about your foundation and your safety and your security that's super important to you with cancer in your seventh house so we have the magician card and we have the queen of cups and the magician is known to kind of like have all the tools he needs to make the things happen you have the training you have the skills you have the emotional intelligence you have the foresight and the planning like you have all the things that you need now I kind of see this Queen of Cups as somebody else and I'm not even certain you know who this person is quite yet you may be learning this month maybe it's something brand new um, the Queen of Cups can reflect your energy and that is of forgiveness and compassion and I always see Queen of Cups energy as like that energy of self-care which is perfect because the truth is before we reach this Queen of Cups place all of our relationships are going to fall apart we can't love other people until we love ourselves 
we can't love them successfully, we can't understand them. When we don't come from a Queen of Cups place, we tend to need the control, right? Like life has to give you some kind of guarantee that this person says they're gonna be there, they're gonna do this thing, and you need to know that they are gonna do those things. And the Queen of Cups energy just kind of knows that regardless of what other people do, they're okay, right? Emotionally, they're okay. Like she doesn't take the rejections personally. She's mastered her emotion and her love as well, which means she probably doesn't pass a lot of judgment. She's not a judgmental queen. And so she is capable of all of this compassion and forgiveness. And because she shows up right under this Knight of Wands, I think there's a lot this month coming out about how you're healing and forgiving yourself for the way that you proceeded or acted in past circumstances. Maybe there's, you know, an acceptance of what you did try to control or how you acted when you were trying to control things. And you start to realize that those are learning experiences and you don't judge yourself from them either. You know, we are all growing in this lifetime. There's no right or wrong. There's no having to learn a certain lesson by a certain age. Like we're all on our own journey and our own path. And I love that you're reaching this now because this is such a time of potential. And once you can turn around all of this ego and control stuff, the good stuff really starts to roll in. Now we've got this Queen of Cups sandwiched between the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse tells me that there's probably not a lot of work that you have to do, right? This is what I'm talking about, about situations that come in that you don't have to force. Like these are things that are just meant to happen. They're already in your life. They're already guaranteed. If you're manifesting things, the trick is to know that it's coming and to trust it, not force a situation, not try to turn everything into that, right? If you went to a psychic and they told you that you would be married in two years, and then the very next person you meet, you just automatically assume this is the person you're going to marry. And there's a lot of times when we do this manifesting thing where we kind of have to take a step back from the details, okay? We really don't know. We don't know how it's going to play out. Keep it general, right? Keep it general and stick to an emotion. Queen of Cups is a very powerful manifesting um, tool, especially next to the Magician, because she manifests from the emotion. So it doesn't matter who you want in your life. It doesn't matter what job or what company you want to work for or what side of the city it's going to be on. Or if you're looking for a new house, it doesn't matter what street it's on or what neighborhood, right? Like the details don't matter. You just have to kind of picture the way that you're going to feel when all of the pieces are put together, right? And that's like, intense gratitude and um, that's where these things have to come from is this emotion of it already being yours being able to feel the excitement and the gratitude and the love and the amazement and the oh my god it's actually happening kind of place and we've got the eight of pentacles in reverse telling me that like and I, I think I've been saying this to Capricorn for a few months now. It's, it's not about the hard work. It's not about making something happen. It's not about forcing somebody to be on your team or forcing somebody to see it your way. You just simply can't force the things right now. The more graceful you could be, because the Queen of Cups is so graceful. The Star card is so graceful. There's just an understanding that the things that you want are coming. And when they get in front of you, it will be so apparent that you won't have to manipulate or work to make anybody believe in you. You know, it's not about the song and dance. It's not about the circus act, Capricorn. 
It's not about all the things that you could do or all the ways that you could prove yourself because again, that's ego stuff, okay? You know, you go on a date with somebody the first couple of times and you want to like buy the new outfits and have the nice shoes and like be perfect and that's great. But the person that you probably want to spend the rest of your life with would be happy with you with your hair up in a bun and no makeup on, you know, like whatever. So it's not about the work that you put into it. It's not about the control or the image that you're making of yourself. It's more about the emotion. And it's got to come from an emotional level this month. Now, I love that underneath, look, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, then the Magician who says, oh, I see how I could do it differently, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles, and the things start to move towards you. Now, I'm looking at this Knight of Pentacles, and I feel like this is somebody else. I think that there's somebody coming in, making an offer, saying, I want to build with you. This could be, you know, in terms of love, which most likely this is with an emphasis on the seventh and eighth house. In terms of love, this is somebody saying, you know, can we make it official or can we, you know, we're just taking things to the next level. And it's because you've released the grip on the ego. It's because you're not taking things so personally. If you're completely single, this is somebody new coming in. And it's because you're at this new vibration of like self-acceptance and being able to be yourself and knowing the things that you want. And knowing, you know, the parts of you that were attracting the negative stuff that you were attracting. But this Knight of Pentacles appears to be somebody that really wants to build with you because the Three of Pentacles for me is a foundation card. So I think that this person wants to start laying some foundations, making some promises, making plans for the future. And it's a really beautiful energy. And I see you as a Page of Pentacles because I see you exiting out of the ego and becoming more of a foundation yourself. There's a strong foundation because you've discovered the qualities in yourself and you believe in them. So it doesn't matter if you have the greatest purse or the nicest car or the biggest house. Like nobody wants you for that. The things that the people want you for that are valuable in your life are your emotions, your personality, your, your compassion. These are the things that you really want to show off this month is your authentic you side. When you start to do that and you meet the new players and the new people that are coming into your life, then you begin to be, it's easier to accept the things that are coming in because I see you as this page of pentacles. This is like the new you. See, we have the ace of pentacles in reverse. If you look diagonally, we have the ace of pentacles in reverse, queen of cups in the center, and the page of pentacles. As soon as you tune into that emotional side of you, that compassionate, self-compassionate look i can't make it any clearer i think capricorns have probably treated themselves like crap for a lot of years trying to put on this facade like they were this certain person they had this much money they had this much control they had this much prestige like that's all great stuff for capricorn because to us that's what success meant we could be proud of that we're self-made self-sufficient right but then you get to this point in your life you're like yeah but i'm you know, maybe there's loneliness. Maybe there's a lot of missed opportunities. Maybe we focused on the careers or having the things that we wanted and we didn't really value the personal relationships and the connections or the connections to self. And I just get the feeling that this page of pentacles is you in this new way of being, in this new state, like learning how to love yourself and learning how to invest in relationships and learning how to be with people who love you for you, right? People that want to just really get to know you, not what you do, not how much you make, but you. Now, guys, underneath the knight or the king of, I'm sorry, the king of wands, we got two of these cards that came out. The first one was a time for healing, the balsamic moon. Now here we have healing and the star card is all about healing. So your environment is healing. For some of you, you may be attracting somebody that's very different 
than the people you normally attract. Now, the reason you're doing that is because you're in this new higher vibration. You're loving yourself more, and so you're attracting that to you. But as well with, with the balsamic moon, it always reminds me of like the sliver of new hope. When all of the things don't work out, there's always a path, a, a spark of light. And I think the King of Wands is understanding kind of where that is, who it is, what's happening. You may be attracting somebody in your environment that's really changing the way that you think about yourself, making you see the light within yourself, making you see your potential. And that's really, really beautiful. If it's some of you, it will just be you understanding this. Some of you, you may have a wonderful person. It could be a friend. It could be a love interest. It could be a parent, you know, whatever it is. But they're making you see the qualities in you that you never saw before. And underneath that, we got the waning moon. What do you need to release? And the, the truth is you need to release the ego because this is under the king of wands. Here we have you as the knight of wands. This is the growth process. It's really beautiful the way this the, I always love my Capricorn readings guys I don't know how much you understand I love your readings so much underneath the star card your environment your astrology card is a grand trine blessings and this is kind of why I get the idea that there's somebody else in your life I think that there are things happening in your life and in your environment that you can look to and just say Man, I'm really glad that happened or I'm really glad I met that person because that was the biggest blessing in my life. Sometimes blessings aren't pretty, right? Sometimes they're prickly, like when that relationship doesn't work out. But thank God it doesn't work out because two weeks later you go on a date and you meet the love of your life. Blessings, right? They might be in disguise, but they're blessings nonetheless. Your environment is literally handing you blessings. Now we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, which is kind of like the opportunity comes and you can't grasp it. And deep down, we all know why that happens, right? It's not because of the other person, really. It's because that's what we created in our mind. There was some kind of a something that told us that we were unworthy of having those things that we truly wanted. Or maybe those things weren't, you know, of integrity to us. We wanted them for the wrong reasons. And that's the stuff that really starts to get solved and resolved this month so that you could start being able to accept the blessings that the universe brings in. You're working out all the unworthiness issues. You know you're worthy because you're seeing your light. You're seeing your beauty. Whenever we have a Queen of Cups in the center of the reading, I, I'm always just drawn to like falling in love with yourself getting to know who you are and what your best qualities are. And like I said, it has nothing to do with money or you know, what you own. It's about who you are on the inside. Now the bottom of the deck is a two of wands. And this to me is a portal. And I think there's opportunities coming. People wanna build in with you. People wanna invest in you. And here we have the two of wands and there could be I'm so sorry, Capricorn. There's just so much chaos in my house right now. No matter how much I try to time this, it's just never ending chaos. Life with kids. Okay, so like I discussed with you about the two of wands being the portal, the opportunities, and you coming from a really healthy place and manifesting like really healthy new things in your life that are starting, you're starting to see them. Like you could look in the card, he's holding the world in his hands. He's starting to see the progress. And I think you're starting to see the results of the positive manifestations that you put forward. Now your last two Oracle cards, you got card number 58, Vanishing Mirror, which is exactly what we've been talking about the entire time. This is the stripping of the ego, where we want things just because they rejected us and we want to prove them wrong or we want things just because it's something of prestige and we're not looking for the real qualities that we need in other people or other things. Vanishing mirror, this is the this is the melting of the ego. This is the absolute soul growth that you're going through this month so that you could allow yourself to be your authentic self. And 
The next card you got is the card of home. I love this card. Card number 27, breaking down to a nine. I love this card. Because you're your home, Capricorn. Because home is where you feel comfortable, where you feel comfortable in your own skin and there's a sense of belonging. And that's what's happening. I really feel for a lot of you, there is somebody in your life it may be brand new. It might be something very different than anything that you've experienced. It might be something where you're kind of being forced to drop your ego in order to embrace the situation, but it feels so good. It's like a homecoming. You might be with somebody who actually feels like home to you. And I think that this person or this situation makes you feel like you can be comfortable in your own skin, that you can be yourself, that you can be open and vulnerable and loving and compassionate and all the things that come with the Queen of Cups. You don't have to be safe. You don't have to stay in that ego place. These people or this person loves you exactly the way you are for exactly what you have to give and it doesn't matter. And there's no effort being requested of you this month, okay? Capricorn, such a beautiful reading, such beautiful energy. I am so excited for you guys in the month of July. I think it's going to be a really amazing month for you. Um, I do hope it is, guys. I'll be back soon for the August readings, but until then, have a great, great month. Take care. Bye.